Danny, it's never happened before this one. They've apparently cured a baby who was born with HIV, the virus that causes AIDS. And they tell us they made another discovery purely by accident when the mother stopped bringing the baby in for treatments. The child has been off medication for about a year, and the infection is nowhere to be found. Some experts say they want to see more evidence, but scientists tell us this really could change the lives of hundreds of thousands of babies born with HIV in other parts of the world every year. A diagnosis that used to be a death sentence and can now mean taking medication for the rest of your life. Trace Gallagher is live for us this evening on this. This, this seems to have a whole lot to do with timing here, Trace. It does, Chef, because normally they begin treating babies with HIV at six weeks after birth, and then they give them two medications for preventative reasons. This baby was given three drugs as soon as it was born. The belief is that instead of containing the disease, they attacked it and killed it. So now the hope is, is to go after HIV before it hides inside a child's body. Listen. There's nothing extraordinary about this. This doesn't require special drug development. It really requires uh, testing early. And you, we don't need to wait. We don't need to have a test result. We can start, and then once infection is confirmed, then we continue the treatment. Yeah, and experts say you will likely see this type of treatment done more around the globe, at least as an effort because there are some three million kids in the world, Shep, living with HIV. It's an incredible number. And the doctors at the University of Mississippi Medical Center in Jackson say they're certain that this child had HIV. Yeah, I mean, they don't have any blood samples from the child when it was born, so they can go back and retest. So that's where a lot of the skepticism kind of comes in here. But the researchers say when this baby was born, they tested it twice. Both were positive. And then over the next month, they tested three more times. Again, those were positive. But then at five months, they tested the child again. The results were negative and have remained negative even with no medication. Listen. To be off antiretroviral therapy for 10 months is much longer than we would have anticipated any child would ever be able to go off therapy. So this case still informs us in terms of treatment strategies for children, again, if it can be replicated. We should mention the first cure case of HIV happened to a man in Berlin, a middle-aged man who was given a bone marrow transplant. That's him right there. And he got the marrow from someone who was naturally resistant to HIV, and he remains HIV negative to this very day. Yep. Trace Gallagher live tonight. Trace, thanks.